this situation on type of deal and you know uh, defense knew it we knew it so it was a lot of you know loading the box and it was just real physical today and I think that's what the coaches really wanted to see and what they was really focused on to see who could be that you know that short yardage back that every down back you know that could be physical in between the tackles and you know when it's needed for the short yardage. Do you, you think that was important for you to show that that's the, that element of your game that you could step up and be that in between the tackles kind of guy? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because I mean those those are the runs that that win games. Short yardage, four minute. You know, just them. It's them tough yards that everybody needs, and some people don't understand that those are the most important yards. So it was big, and that's something that they needed to see. Compare your performance personally, I guess, between the, the first scrimmage and now, or, or is it a, the scenario so much different that it's tough to compare? I feel it was uh, still pretty much the, you know the same as far as being consistent and physical. You know, today was a more situational day, so defense kind of you know loaded the ball and prepared for the run a little bit more. But I feel today was still an overall productive day. Is the the confidence of the team still look pr pretty good on offense? Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely. I mean, these guys come out and work every day, and we stay up on these coaches, and you know, a lot of these guys have confidence, and we got that. I guess you could say that gel of playing with each other for a while. So I think everybody's still riding high, and you know, ready to you know keep working and stay up on these coaches. Thank you. Hey, Rachel, I'm sorry if you answered this right already, but just you know, how did it go from the offense today? I mean, did you guys follow up the running game? Same way you did. We did okay. We we didn't do how we wanted to do. Um, we kind of struggled. Uh, have getting to a quarterback. We didn't have as many uh, pressures and, and sacks like we wanted to. But then, as far as uh, situational, I think you know we flipped the switch and you know we had a different mindset. And, and uh, we pretty much we did real good the second half. Well, what did you do well on in the second half? Oh, uh, we did good uh, getting to the quarterback. Um, you know, really, you know, a lot of guys their mindset coming in here today wasn't. You know how it was when we had our first scrimmage. So um, you know, Coach Sal talked to us, and you know, a lot of guys, you know, had flipped on the motor, and you know, we just played ball. When it was you, Dan, and Darrington up front, how did you guys do against the run today? I know that was a concern after the last scrimmage. Oh, we did. We did real good. We did real good today, but um, we didn't uh, play against uh, our starting offense. So you know, I mean, we did good as far as playing against the tools, but. You know, the real competition is playing against our, our offense because, to me, I think you know they probably have to be, be the uh, like the number one offense in the nation. So. so, what are you coming out of this scrimmage? Only a few more workouts left in camp. What do you guys feel like you've accomplished after today? Um, I think we accomplished uh, getting lined up. Uh, we did good uh, with substitutions. Um, our first scrimmage, we didn't do so well with substitutions, so um, we didn't have so many errors with that today. Um, a lot of guys got lined up. So, I, I mean, it went, went real well. We had some mistakes here and there, but you know, it's it's better than what we did the first round. So. With Herm out, was that hard to, to with the communication and stuff and the substitutions? You guys feel like that was good for you guys to go smoothly, even without Herman? Uh, it was it was okay, but you know, um, then again, it's kind of different because we we so used to Herm. You know, he uh, give us a call uh, like ASAP. You know, with the uh, younger guys, you know, playing in his position, it was kind of different. So, I mean, we made an adjustment and, and uh, we got everything taken care of. How close do you think the defense is to being game ready? Uh, I think we did, again, getting close. You know, we, we still have um, like some small minor uh, mistakes, you know, that can make a big difference. Like, you know, as uh, far as like the D line, you know, make, making the wrong first steps and uh, being in the wrong gap, so I, I think we we um, came a long ways, definitely from spring. You know, I think I think we're almost done. Have you ever played next to a guy that occupies as much space as, as Big Dan? Mm. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. You know, it's good though. You know, I mean, I got, uh, I was telling um, you know the coach, I was like, man, I you know, I use everything I got, you know, to get three guys pushed back. You know, and he do it, he make it look so easy. <laughs> How do you think that helps guys like you get one-on-one -on -one situations like that, the, the outside linebackers, the jacks, that sort of thing? Uh, it, it helps out a lot, you know, because uh, it keeps offense linemen off the linebackers and also create one-on-one uh, -on -one situations with the ends. So, you know, um, you know with us having one-on-one -on -one situations, you know, it's, 
you should be able to get to in, in the backfield. You should help in short yard situations, yeah. I think, as well. Yeah. yeah.